everyone. Today we're going grocery shopping. I'm gonna show you what I'm getting today because it has to do with canning and dehydrating and using food from the grocery store to process it for long term. Let's get started. Welcome back. Today we went to the grocery store. As you've seen, I got a bunch of these. Now the, this is corn and it is fire smoked corn. I'm gonna go ahead and can this today because I want to store my grocery store food for long term. I could put this in the freezer, but I really don't have freezer room. And this is all about prepping in case the electricity goes out. Well, the only way I know to do that is to dehydrate it or to can it. Dehydrating takes a lot of time and it makes my house extremely hot. So for me, canning is so much quicker and then it's on the shelf, it's easy to make and it also has its own flavoring because it, it's canned in its own juice. So that you can use that liquid to help produce nutrients in your food. All right, so what we have to do is we have to let this thaw overnight because we don't want to can it frozen and basically we're gonna can it like it's fresh. This is one way, you don't have to grow your food, but you can still have a full pantry of canned food. So let's get right into the video and let's get making this and canning it for long-term food storage. All right, another way we can preserve food long-term, longer term is by freezing. So I am going to be freezing some of these marinated tomatoes simply because I love adding these to pasta salad and I can add them to pasta salad partly frozen and it is amazing. So I took these tomatoes and we marinated them overnight. And now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put these in quart bags. All right, so I'm finishing this up and now we got this to put in the freezer. We're gonna go ahead and can, finish canning the corn and this is what it looks like. I do like vacuum sealers. I think they do really help your food stay fresher longer. And little units like this do not take hardly any counter space. All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, so this was fire roasted corn and it tastes amazing. So that's why it looks like it has little brown spots on it because it's fire roasted. Now all we have to do is take some hot boiling water and we're gonna fill up our jars. So basically we're canning the corn the same as fresh corn would be canned. Because it is frozen, it was frozen, it is not going to be mushy. I'm canning all of this for about 50 cents for a pint. That's a good deal. Now, if you have your own canning supplies and you get canning lids on sale, I used to get them at Blaine Farm and Fleet. They have them like 50% off once a year. And then I would get two years worth. So I always like to have a lot of jar lids. And I love, I love lots of different kinds of jar lids. I like balls. I do use four jars. I ran out of them, so I'm using the bowl because that's what I have. All right, we don't need to 
put these in hot water because we are pressure canning, but you do want to make sure you wash these. And then I'll put them in the pressure canner and I think it's 40 minutes. I'm going to go check just to make sure and then I'll get back to you. All right, everyone, I just checked. It is 55 minutes for pints. And so I'm going to make sure I can it 55 minutes. It's probably easier for me just to can it for one hour. We're gonna go ahead and can it. Then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. This is just one way of getting food at the grocery store and preserving it long-term for long-term storage. When we didn't have electricity for a couple days here back in the early spring, I realized that some of the loopholes that I have are too much reliant on the freezer. And so once you have things canned, then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And so that's why I'm doing a lot of more, I'm doing more dehydrating. So talk about dehydrating. I am going to get the same corn and we are going to dehydrate that coming next week. So this would be easy to dehydrate because it's already blanched because it was frozen. And all we have to do now is just put it on the dehydrator sheets. The reason why I don't like dehydrating is because it is so hot. You turn your dehydrator on early in the morning and you can get most of it done in the morning. It does make a difference. All right, everyone. I'll see you guys in just a little bit when the corn is finished. Shopping at the discount grocery store is always so much fun because you never know what for bargain you're going to find. And I enjoy going about once a month now. I hope you continue to watch my videos as I'm sharing cleaning out our cupboards and cleaning out our pantries and using up food that's been stored for a long time. Here recently our son and daughter-in-law gave us this dried eggs and they tried making it and they didn't like it. So they thought they would give it to me and I am putting it into glass jars to help preserve it a little longer and I'm going to be using it in my cooking. So here's just another way of taking dried items that you normally wouldn't know what to do with that and just adding it to your baked goods. So I'll add some of these dried whole eggs into some of my food. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye everybody. If anybody would like to watch an older video, that would help me quite a bit. Here's a blast from the past.